The first tip to increase your productivity using Copilot is actually to use Copilot to build PowerPoint presentation. I gave a prompt through Copilot here, generate an outline for a PowerPoint presentation for an annual meeting. And Copilot gives me all of this. The only thing that I'm going to do is actually to copy all of this text that Copilot just gave me. I am going to open a blank Word document and at the top in the search bar, I'm going to type outline view. Once we are in this menu, we are going to actually just paste the text that Copilot give us. And then we need to do a little cleaning. We just remove all the prompts from Copilot that tells me here's an outline and stuff like that. And what we need to make sure is that actually our slide titles are on level one and anything else are on the subsequent level. By instance, here I want my title as level one, my subtitle as level two. And I do so by clicking on the arrows at the top here. Just need to make sure that everything is well organized. And I won't show you all of this. I will clean the data. And in a second, I will show you the result. Here we go. I did a little cleaning. I also deleted some stuff because I wanted just to show you how it works. And this is what you get for not paying for the pro version of Copilot. And once this is done, we are just going to save the file anywhere actually. And once it's saved, you have to open a blank PowerPoint presentation and then you go under insert in the ribbon under new slide. You will click on slides from outline and this is where the magic happened. You just open the file that you just saved and here we go. We have a whole PowerPoint presentation that is actually ready just like we set it up in our Word document. After that, we can use the designer feature at the top in design and at the very right designer, it's going to pop up a pane and it's going to show you a few Canva, a few designs that you can use for your PowerPoint presentation. But that's not all. Here is the second tip of this video. You can use Copilot to generate images. I will ask Copilot, can you generate an image for a sales presentation of a retail store? And Copilot use Dolly to generate those silly images. And if I don't like them, I can even prompt Copilot to make it colorful with special offers. Of course, this girl looked really bored about this sale presentation. And of course, she has like 10,000 people staring at her and she is also selling some pills. So I'm not too sure if why she will be happy anyways. But actually, I just asked Copilot to add some colors in there and we will be able to compare <laughs> that's actually a complete different image from selling those pills to all of this very colorful, really childish designs real quick, but that's fine. That makes just this video a little bit funnier. So I'm just going to take this image and actually going to download it and put it in my PowerPoint presentation. And here we go. I pasted my beautiful image into PowerPoint. I now have a PowerPoint fully created with Microsoft Copilot in a matter of a minute. And I didn't pay a dime for the pro version of Microsoft Copilot, which by the way, I teach in my Copilot masterclass. So stay tuned till the end of this video to know more about that. One tip I want to show you is how to summarize a video using Microsoft Copilot in Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Web Browser. So I am on YouTube right now and in order to craft a compelling title for this very specific video you're watching right now, I remember I watched this video earlier, me the secret title guru getting YouTubers million of views, but I don't remember anything from this video. So I will open Microsoft Edge and open Microsoft Copilot in Edge at the top here. And as you can see, there's a pane that is Copilot in Edge that is opening. And I have two options here, the one to generate a page summary or the one to suggest questions about this page. So Microsoft Copilot in Edge will read the data from the actual page you're looking at in your browser and it will help you summarize it. If you click on this video right here, I want you to have a look at this prompt while I click it. Instead of generate page summary, when I click on the video, Don't. it becomes generate video 
highlights. And when I click on this prompt, Microsoft Copilot will just generate a video highlight of the video I'm currently looking at. And in this way, it allows me to take notes and avoid watching the whole video once again. It took a few minutes to Copilot to actually break down this whole video. It highlights me the timestamps as well, as well as different chapters. And when I click on any of those chapters, you can see the timestamp at the left moving as I click on them. That's pretty cool. And Copilot has actually only summarized up to minutes 10 of this video. If you click on view more parts, Copilot will keep summarizing the video for the rest of it. And here we go. We have minutes 25 to minutes 35 right here. Please note that this feature only work on Vimeo and YouTube right now. Another thing that is really, really important is that you must use those prompts at the top here. If you use the chat box at the bottom, there are chances that Copilot won't work and it will serve the web to give you some information that isn't actually related to the video you're looking at on your Microsoft Edge browser. By instance, I ask Copilot here, could you give me the video highlights? I want to focus on the educational side of videos and Copilot is actually searching the webs and is not looking at my video if they ever talk about educational videos. And it even gives me some random sources from Google. So please, please, please make sure you use those prompts at the top of Copilot in Edge. You can also summarize PDF with Microsoft Copilot in Edge. Again, it is all free. So opened up an unknown company financial results here. So I click on Copilot in Edge. And similarly to the videos, I can just click real quick on generate document summary or even generate key insights from this document or other options. I will create on generate document summary. I am too busy to read through all of these financial results and Copilot, just like the video feature, will make a summary of this PDF. I see this very, very handy when you are in a rush and you actually don't have time. And then just like the video feature, you can click on view more parts and you can actually also ask more questions on the document. This feature isn't perfect, but I think it's going to save you a lot of time reading through stuff and gets you the key insights from document. Actually, as you can see here, you can click on ask more question. Tell me more about their net sales by region. Of course, Copilot read through the whole document and these questions are actually based on the actual document or the actual information through this document. And it gives me some more information using the web. Another hack that I've seen myself using lately is to utilize Copilot to analyze charts. So I go to copilot.microsoft.com. I simply took a screenshot of a chart and I asked it Copilot, could you analyze this chart? Is it a good or a bad one and why? And the results from Copilot are actually quite impressive. Copilot is analyzing the image and it says that it presents the data clearly with a title that summarizes the main finding. Three out of four people use AI at work. As we can see on the image, it is kind of true. Also, Copilot tells me that it is a donut chart, which is a good choice for showing your proportions and that it makes it easy to see that a large majority of people are using AI at work. It also tells me about the contrast. So, of course, the color on this donut chart is pretty cool. And what I like is that Copilot gives me a few points where I could make this chart a little bit better. So it tells me that I have nothing to compare against and that this chart could get better. So with just a glimpse, Copilot gave me a lot of information on whether this chart was good or bad. You can also use Copilot to translate images. So I have this image in English and I had to do a training in French and my main language is French. So I took the image and actually put it in Copilot and asked Copilot, could you translate this image to French, please? And then Copilot will analyze the text on the image and should be able to give me what's going on and actually translate all of the text to French language. Copilot translated everything on this very specific image. And then all I have to do is actually copy paste and be a little Bob Ross of myself and play with the image in Microsoft Paint. <laughs>
This trick is pretty cool and it is to use Copilot to write complex Excel formulas to get your data faster. I have one Excel file here, but imagine that it is two Excel file. So I have file number one in ping, that is the financial transactions that contains my vendor ID in column D. And I want to bring over the vendor name, the address and the country. As you can see in column D, my values are repeating themselves and it's going to be a hustle to bring all my items from file two over to file one. So by instance, I want my vendor name that you can find in column L. I want to bring it over in column E. I want to bring over the address in column M to column F and same thing for the country. So I will ask Copilot to do this for me because I'm a rookie in Excel and I don't know how to do it. So I go in Copilot and all I do is actually explain the situation that I actually just told you that we want to bring this data over. We send the prompt and Copilot will come up with an Excel formula in order to do our calculation. It tells me the VLOOKUP function and basically it tells me every formula I need for every column. Let's try it and see if it works. Copilot gave me the results of my prompt. So you have Copilot to the left, you have my Excel file to the right. And to explain it to you, I will go through the latest formula he gave me. So Copilot gave me one formula for each column. I will go to the last one. So Copilot told me for the vendor country in column G, which is the column here on my Excel file, you need to write a VLOOKUP and it gives me some instructions below in order to do everything that I need. So let's first copy this formula, go to Excel, place myself in the country cell and then paste it at the top here. So let's follow the Copilot instructions. It tells me that the cell D2 is the cell with the vendor ID in my financial transaction files, which is my file here in pink. In my case, it is not cell D2, it is the cell just below that. After that, it tells me that the vendor list sheet one is the range where the data is located in your vendor list file. Make sure to replace sheet one with the actual sheet name. In my specific case, I have it in the same Excel file. So I'm just going to remove this and scroll over to the right and actually select column K to N, press F4 on my keyboard to lock the cells. And then on the third bullet point here in Copilot, it tells me the numbers two, three, and four represent the columns in the vendor list file from which to retrieve the name, address, and country respectively. In my specific case, if we scroll over to our data, the fourth column is actually the country. So that's what I want. And then on the last instruction, it tells me that false specifies that you want an exact match for the vendor ID, so I'll keep it as is. And then I will press enter and let's see if it works from Copilot. Yes, it works, I have USA. And then I just drag down and here we go. I have all of my country for all of my different vendor IDs. And when it does repeat the vendor ID, I have the correct country because it did a vertical lookup, which is an advanced Excel function. I made a free guide on 10 ways to use Copilot on a daily basis in order to speed up your productivity. And it is available in the description below. And if you want to learn more on the topic, you can have a look at my YouTube channel. And if you want to learn on a more structured way, you can have a look at my courses that are linked down here. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Peace.